What's up? Today I'm going to do a countdown of six crazy uh, suburban kind of residential development projects that went south and uh, didn't quite live up to their potential, and that's putting it mildly. So um, if you want the full backstory, check out the uh, Instagram page where I did longer write-ups on these. But today we're going to do kind of a Google Maps tour of six of the the most interesting ones. And it's interesting to see them on Google Maps because you can really see the scope of what was planned and what never actually came to fruition. So the first one is California City. And that is a city out in the middle of the California desert, a few hundred, maybe 100 miles east of Bakersfield. And basically, it was going to be a planned city from the ground up out in the middle of the desert. Why they thought that was a good idea, I'm not entirely sure. I guess the land was cheap. But once you zoom in, you can start to see the scale of, of the road grid that was built and never actually used. And the uh, the estimates originally were for the city to grow to several hundred thousand. I think currently right now it's uh, in the neighborhood of 15,000 people actually live there. And the rest of it is, as you can see by street view, just roads in the middle of the desert with no houses and, and pretty much nothing going on out there. As you can see, it, it extends pretty far in uh, pretty much every direction. There is, like I said, there is about 15,000 people that do live in the core of California City, but the vast majority of it, it never lived up nearly to its potential or what was expected. Next, we have Rotunda, the Meadows and Villas. So Rotunda, the original Rotunda was a project on the on Florida's west coast, uh, south of Venice, Venice Beach. And it was a, a very, very much a planned community. And it was in a kind of strange circular shape with canals. And it was a, a pretty big success. So as they expanded, they started planning other communities in a similar style. And that's where the meadows and villas portion of the Rotunda project came in. And once again, you see these massive grids. And in Florida, there was a lot of uh, earthwork that needed to be done um, to make it, since it's basically all swampland. So you had these massive, massive earthwork projects and massive paving projects. And once again, just like with the other one, you can see there's, this goes on for miles and miles and you have stop signs, you have roads, and that's just about it. You even have the roads named, but no houses. So next, this is Eskaya near uh, just south of Las Vegas. This one actually has slowly been building out. So about 25 years ago, the uh, developer essentially chopped off the tops of a bunch of mountains just south of Vegas. And it, it the plan was for a, a gated community, super high end, super luxury. And like I said, this one has been a little bit more of a success over the years. Well, with that said, there's still a lot. You can't zoom in because it's all gated and hoity-toity. But as you can see, there's still lots and lots of building pads that don't have houses. Uh, interesting thing about this one to to maintain its exclusivity and it, there's requirements on like houses must be X Y Z number of square feet. So it's eventually will probably be built out. But as you can see, there's still big chunks of it, entire streets, entire blocks where they did these huge excavation projects with all kinds of dynamiting the tops off of mountains. And uh, so far, and this is 20 years later, a lot of these still haven't been built out yet. Next, going back to Florida, this time on Florida's East Coast. This one is known as the Compound. It's another one where they did all the site work. They did, you know, got, got everything ready, built the roads, and then that was it. So unfortunately, Florida has, has several of these. I think there's one more still on the list, but they're all they're pretty similar in that I guess people had grand visions of big projects that never never really happened. Next, we have another one in Florida. This is back to Florida's west coast near Naples. And this once again, same story. This is Alligator Alley running through here, and it's a giant swamp, and they got it all ready to build houses and then no houses were built, or very few houses. This one north of Alligator Alley, there were actually some houses built, 
but as you can see on the south side, it's pretty much a no man's land. This one is notorious for being sort of lawless and there's its location to uh, like being out of the country. It's there's been reports of people like flying small planes in and landing on some of these streets to fly drugs in. Uh, like I said, the north side was built out to some degree, although it's pretty sparsely sparsely built out, but it's much more built out than the south side. And finally, last one we have, this is near Kingman, Arizona. And this one, compared to the other ones, the scope of this one is is much less dramatic. But still, it was a similar situation where out in the middle of the desert, someone decided they were going to come up with a residential subdivision type project, and they built a lot of the infrastructure. This one looks like they even prepared. There's it looks. Like, I mean, I don't know exactly what those outlines are, but it looks like the building pads were prepared to some degree. So I'd imagine there was a lot of excavation site work done. As you can see, there are a few houses. I don't even know what that is, to be honest. It looks like they're... Maybe houses started being built and they almost look like they burned down or something, but I don't think there's street view. So yeah, this one clearly was not a success either. So that's what I got. Like I said, there's more, if you want the specifics of, of population, what the expectations were, how much money was spent on it, all that kind of stuff, check out development underscore fails on, you, on Instagram. That's where I did the more in-depth write-ups on these projects. But for this video, I just wanted to show them on Google Maps because they are pretty striking to see from above and see how much work was done for projects that never actually were followed through on. So that's all I got.